Hi guys, so I'm out on a ride, I'm just doing the Cambridge run and I've done about 25, about 25 miles so far, probably got another about 4 or 5 to go so probably a good 30 mile um, trip today, top speed of about 35, um, been practicing some sitting down and stuff like that. But anyway, what I wanted to do is um, kind of inspired a little bit by uh, Mark Hybrids. Um, if you don't know him, really cool Eastgate um, YouTuber. Check him out. I'll put the description below. Give him a sub and give him a like and his videos. His videos are fantastic. So um, just, yeah, give him some love. Um, but he done a video about his journey on um, mountain boarding and his Apex Predator. So that got me thinking about um, my journey, not necessarily on uh, Eastgate, but on um, unicycling. So I've been unicycling now, uh, it's just past my year anniversary, um, probably about uh, a few weeks ago. So long story short, but four years ago, I tried to learn unicycling and didn't go very well, got into Eastgate, uh, met loads of really cool, uh, lovely people, um, many who I consider really good friends now. Um, hopefully they feel the same, but never mind. Um, but it got me onto the journey of trying different stuff. So, um, you know, going from you know, Evolve Skateboards to a One Wheel, an XR, a Pine, etc. Um, and then I finally came back around to uh, unicycling and uh, wanted to try and wanted to kind of. Um, crack my fear of, 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 of riding these things and I, I, when you it's always the same when you see other people riding in their videos and stuff especially the New York riders they make it so glamorous and so amazing and so easy but it's it's not you know I, I know some people learn quicker than um, me me it took me about a month to learn uh, to ride a unicycle and a lot of bruises and stuff like that and there's some videos of the journey um, up here but um, Really, I started with a, a V10F, an in-motion V10F, um, and that was about a year ago. I only put about 150 miles on that thing. Um, but it was the best learning wheel for me because it was a thin wheel. I always think from, from experience now, it's like learn on a thin wheel and and then progress on to something bigger. Um, the other thing is as well is that, um, you know, for the, well, it's not cheap, cheap. It's cheaper than many of the ones and certainly the one I'm riding now. Uh, the veteran Sherman Max, it allows you to build that confidence and that experience. And, you know, you're going to have some falls, some tumbles, some crashes, things like that. You've got to buy something that you're not, you know, you'd be happy to scuff up and stuff. So even a secondhand one and things like that. Shortly after that, I got the bug. So I, um, the, the, the bug that I got really, once I did nail it after a month, after about three weeks, it just clicked. And then, then I just kept on building up and building up and, and trying, trying to learn um, and get more experience, build up your muscle memory and all that sort of stuff. But that led on to wanting, not necessarily more speed, although um, I was topping out the in motion, but more, more range was the thing. So the thing that got me was, uh, a holiday trip last year and I took the Inmotion V10 F with me and I've done this amazing um, sunrise um, uh, ride along the coast um, down in um, Devon and it was just amazing and it was just like yes I, I want more of some of that you know yes you can do it in Eastgate and stuff like that and I, I you know it, it's great but the ability to do this without really having any range problems and things like that 
was just so much better. I mean, I, I was getting more range than I was on my um, my Evolve at the time, which was a, a GTR. Um, and I was so proud that I've, I, I learned it as well. So I wanted to do more of it. So I sold everything. I sold my emotion, sold all my boards, and I bought an RS19 high speed. <laughs> Those that are familiar with unicycles and stuff like that, it's made by um, Gotway or um, um, Bigodi. They're known by many names. Being a Chinese company, they kind of shut and then open a different, a different company. But um, battery technology apparently not necessarily the best track record. Uh, let's leave it at that. But the performance of the wheel and the range was just amazing. It went from, you know, having a wheel that could probably do about 20 and about 20 miles to a wheel that could do you know over 40 and I, I was getting sort of 45 almost 50 mile range out of it and uh, it was great for off-road since I put a knobbly tire on although um, note to anyone that's buying a unicycle changing a tire or a wheel is a pain in the ass um, it's a learning curve again it's a, it's a steep learning curve once you get it you're fine so I wanted to also give a shout out to uh, Vinny uh, Vizzle Vlog. Um, I'll put the link to his channel here below. Does some really cool um, one wheel XR and um, stuff like that and some skateboarding stuff. Again, really awesome channel. Um, I generally try and give a shout out to people on my channel that I've enjoyed their content and honestly the content is, is amazing. So again, give them some love, give them a, a, a sub and stuff like that. Um, and um finally obviously um ride white waxing again um he supported my channel i support his but again check his uh, stuff out more one wheel stuff um and some various other bits and pieces in between so it's always good to uh, to see his videos uh you know again it's all these all these channels that i like they're all no bs you know it's like what you see is what you get you know their personalities come through and like um you know the videos are just genuine so if they join something, you know, they, they show it and it shows on the video. So keep up the good work, guys. So back to uh, the RS-19. The RS-19 I had, I put on uh, about 12, 1300 miles on that. Um, that was an incredible wheel. And um, then post that, um, that was probably about, probably about two months ago, three months ago. Um, I then sold that and upgraded to a veteran Sherman Max and there's ants on this table <laughs> um, and um, this thing is just incredible um, so top speed of over 50 um, I've done 37 and that's more than quick enough for me um, it's built like a tank literally veteran Sherman and um, this thing is just mental um, both off-road and on-road um, even with the knobby tire on road, it's brilliant. I love it anyway. Um, I've just um, started learning seated riding as well, which is a, a, again another learning experience. Um, I can just about go up small curbs and stuff like that, but that's the next thing to learn. Um, and I still feel like I'm just literally just touching the surface. Like I said, I've only had a year on unicycles, but um, I'm just in love with riding these things. It's just um, fantastic. Um, bit of kit the perfect commute vehicle um, perfect off-road vehicle as well and um, yeah I'm I'm going to spend many months and, and longer than that learning this and um, I don't know what's next um, I, I would like a suspension wheel as well um, but you know we'll see I'm not in any mad rush this thing does everything I need it to um, you know when when you can go across things like the, the Dover cliffs and various other things like that um it, it's just an incredible bit of kit um 
and you know as of uh, when I'm recording this uh, July 2022 um, still love them riding unicycles um, still want to learn more about them more about fixing them as well and then you know more about riding um, more of them um, so yeah so that that's kind of that's kind of my journey and um, yeah uh, the next one I'm not sure of um, but um, I want to do a review of this I've done almost 600 miles on the Sherman Max already now um, so I think it's time for a review um, so keep it peeled to the channel and um, yeah see you very soon bye bye all Oh, 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 oh,